so this is my office and I was gonna give everybody a look at what it looks like while I'm planning for an expedition um, my desk which I usually use for you know writing and reading and just regular desk stuff is is taken over with all the soldering prep um, for the for the pumps and and whatnot the bilge pumps and then I've got all of this all this gear down here uh, most of this is is the electronic gear um, that I have to you know charge and get the batteries ready and and expedition proof them and then our there's our our charger cells that we're going to take with us or at least some of them I've got four GoPro cameras um, some boots <laughs> labels from sponsors uh, gear sponsors uh, it's just a big mess right now I'll, I'll uh, or I'll organize in a while I've got to test our satellite phone system and and set up the set up the the um, tracking system through our Garmin Enrich Explorers uh, anyway it's just kind of a mess right now and uh, I hope to have it straightened out here pretty soon uh, and I'm vacillating or I'm jumping between my office and getting these electronics already and and then outside with the rigging of the tandem kayaks because I've got to get those up to Canada for shipping here pretty soon but that's my life right now so soldering up the batteries lithium batteries in the waterproof packs for our bilge pumps for tandem kayaks and these will go in the cockpit uh, in case we tump over out in the middle of you know some big crossing and and uh, we have to get back in the kayaks put our skirts back on and then we we can pump out I mean because if you tump over in a situation like that there's there's a good chance that you're not in a position to use a, a manual or hand pump uh, because the mere fact that you're tumping over says you're you're in some heavy waves and leaving your cockpit skirt off or open in order to pump out the cockpit is antithetical to the entire situation. So with this situation with our electric bilge pumps, we can put the skirts back on the cockpit with the big waves slamming into it, and then it'll continue to pump out without refilling. Um, we've used these pumps for several decades in canoe and kayak racing, so they're extremely reliable very familiar with this setup that uses 10 uh, AA lithium batteries. They can pump continuous for probably four hours, which it only takes eight minutes or eight and a half minutes to completely evacuate the cockpit uh, uh, water if it's if it's full. So these, these battery packs with these waterproof containers should, should last the entire expedition because I don't foresee you know needing to you know pump out that often if we're pumping that often then we should really be off the water uh, they're mainly our concern for when we're doing some major crossings 